Former President Donald Trump and 18 of his allies were indicted on Monday by a Georgia grand jury on charges of racketeering and other crimes related to their efforts to overturn the results of the 2020 presidential election in the state. The indictment, which is 98 pages long, charges Trump with two counts of racketeering, one count of conspiracy to commit racketeering, and 12 counts of violating Georgia election law. The other 18 defendants are charged with one count of racketeering conspiracy and one count of violating Georgia election law. The indictment alleges that Trump and his allies engaged in a criminal enterprise to unlawfully interfere with, influence, and obstruct the lawful administration of the 2020 general election in the state of Georgia. The indictment specifically alleges that Trump and his allies falsely claimed that there was widespread voter fraud in Georgia, even though there was no evidence to support these claims, pressured Georgia election officials to find enough votes to change the outcome of the election, harassed and intimidated election workers, submitted false slates of electors to the Electoral College in an attempt to overturn the election results. The indictment is the most serious criminal charge that Trump has faced to date in connection with his efforts to overturn the election. It is also the first time that Trump has been charged with a crime for his actions in office. Trump has denied any wrongdoing and has vowed to fight the charges. He has also called the investigation into his actions a witch hunt. The indictment is a major development in the ongoing investigation into Trump's efforts to overturn the election. It is also a significant setback for Trump, who is facing increasing legal and political pressure. It remains to be seen whether Trump will be convicted of the charges, but the indictment is a sign that the Justice Department is taking the investigation seriously. The indictment comes after a months-long investigation by Fulton County District Attorney Fonnie Willis. Willis said in a statement that the indictment is a major step for our team. But it is only one step. We will continue to follow the facts and the law wherever they may lead. The indictment is the latest in a series of legal challenges facing Trump. He is also facing criminal investigations in New York and New Jersey, and he is the subject of a number of civil lawsuits. It remains to be seen whether Trump will be convicted of any of the charges against him. However, the indictment is a significant development in the ongoing investigations into his actions, and it is a sign that Trump is facing increasing legal and political pressure. Please subscribe, share your thoughts and opinions, and join the conversation.